Now, Newton's third law of motion tells us that what goes up must come down. Well, the government clearly failed its physics because last year they granted asylum to more people than ever before, a record-breaking 62,336. And that's despite them getting nearly a fifth fewer asylum applications than the year before, still at a whopping 67,337. By New Year's Day, more than 111,000 individuals were receiving asylum support in the UK. That's enough people to fill Lincoln. And housing them in migrant hotels now costs a staggering £5.4 billion just last year. An enormous burden for the taxpayer, working out at an average of an incredible 15 million quid every single day. Our asylum system is clearly rotten. Hmm, a bit like this apple. Excuse me, sorry, just going to spit that out. Um, now, I'm joined by the new culture forums, Amy Callaghan's immigration lawyer, Harjap Singh Bangal, and former UKIP leader, Henry Bolton. Sorry about the histrionics at the start, guys, but, you know, this is getting to the point where you have to do something clownish now to try and get the attention of this government, who don't seem to know their arse from their elbow, if you'll pardon the expression. No, they don't. They really don't. I mean, it's getting worse. No, no. For the last couple of years, all we've heard about is Rwanda, Rwanda, Rwanda. Yeah. That's the thing that's going to solve this right. problem. That's Which the, we know it isn't. That's the deterrent. We've been told it's a deterrent. How can we ever have any serious deterrent when we are allowing in more claims than any other place in Europe? Yeah. And asylum seekers will know this. We live in a digital age. Information travels quickly. They will know that you're, you're actually three times more likely to have your claim accepted here than in France. Yeah. That's why everyone's coming here. So there is no use this government talking about deterrence until they actually stop these asylum claims yeah. and stop our soft touch approach. I don't understand why that happens. Does that happen anywhere else? No, I, not that I know. I mean, it's too, it's too little, too late mm. that Rishi's now introducing some, some, you know, minor policy changes with regards to immigration. We know that it's over 750,000 people coming in last year. Um, it was only in 2019, it was 250. Yeah. It's, going it's actually 1.2 million, isn't it? Well, That's overall, the yeah, the gross figures, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is extraordinary. This is at a time when we've got a cost of living crisis, we've got a housing crisis. Mm. More and more young people can't get housing. People can't get GP appointments. Nurses are striking, doctors are striking, everyone seems to be striking. Yeah. There's, like, limited resources and everybody's feeling it. And then people look at their newspapers and they see these ridiculous statistics of a million people coming, over a million people mm. coming into the country, half of asylum seekers is being granted hotel accommodation, you know, when people are trying to make ends meet and can't, can barely get social housing themselves, people that actually live here. Yeah. It's, it's just such a slap in the face to British citizens. Yeah, we're a bit short on time. You know, many of those people would have brought a dependent with them, and maybe yeah. two, or maybe three. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's a lot more than we'd expect. We yeah. actually don't know how many, because a lot of these people go underground. Yeah. We're not tracking them. I don't think we have a clue. No, we don't have a clue. And with, with the asylum uh, seeker process, here it's, it's very, very soft in that... Really, there's a lot of pressure on the Home Office and the Civil Service to, to push people through to accept their mm. claim. It's a lot harder to reject someone than it is to accept someone. And obviously, they, they don't want a backlog of asylum claims. So, you know, we've seen in the recent case of um, Abdul Azidi, the, the Clapham acid attacker, yeah. um, that all he needed to do was say that he was a Christian. Yeah. And he, he's, his asylum seeker uh, claim was accepted, even though he'd committed sexual assault. He'd yeah. been to prison for a, a crime. Yeah. And he was still accepted. So really, you... You know, the message has been given, you can pretty much do anything and you will be able to right. stay here. Oh, that's the trouble, Hodge.